Sara and I are so excited to make involtini di pesce spada. And this is swordfish that was gifted to us by a friend who came to our last workshop. And what we did was some of these, we're gonna make some nice steaks, but instead here we cut it really fine. And now gently, because it is a very delicate meat, we're gonna pound it out and we're gonna make some involtini. So they're gonna be about this thickness right here. And over here, we have already skinned the big piece of pesce spada, of swordfish, and we can hardly wait to make these as well. We have some fresh Italian parsley, flat leaf parsley that we picked in the garden. And then over here, we have just a little piece of garlic that we sliced very thinly. And now over here, we also got some um, oregano leaves. We're gonna take a few of these and a bit of um, rosemary, just a little bit, maybe like this. And these capers. And we'll chop everything up as well as the sun-dried tomato. Once everything is nicely chopped up, we're gonna add these wonderful flavors to some breadcrumbs. We're gonna get these goodies, place them right in here. As well, some of the zest of this lemon. Lemon and fish go so well together. Then here, we have just a bit of pepper, black pepper. We're gonna mix all this up and we'll also add some olive oil to it so that it will become kind of moist. So here, just a nice giro d'olio. And this will be the filling of our involtini. As you can see, you see how it kind of sticks together? So this is nice and moist and perfect. Let's taste it real quick. Mm -hmm. A little salt is needed. Not much because the capers are in there. And we are ready for the assembly. Now let's get a little handful. I'm able to put a bit more. Then inside, just a little butter and some mozzarella, but you can use a different cheese as well. Now, we're going to wrap these guys up and roll them. And here is our first involtino. For the next one, a bit more. And we have a few scraps. I'm gonna put this one right here to patch it up. A little butter these two little pieces of mozzarella. We're gonna, let's see, bring it over, wrap it up, and then roll it. And we might have to put another little patch right up there. There is our second one, and we'll continue until they're completely done. Today we're gonna light the gas oven. And it will heat up the oven in no time at all. Our gas-fired oven is heating up and so has the pan. We're gonna put some olive oil right in here and place our involtini with the seam down right into the pan. almost forgot, we're going to just lightly salt them and then put them in the oven. Place our involtini in. All right, we are ready to be flipped and oh my, they look so amazing. Let's check and see. Oh, perfection. Wow, and this is only after 
three and a half minutes in. Time is up and our involtini are coming out and they're ready in no time at all. Look at this. They look absolutely delicious. We're gonna serve our beautiful involtini on a bed of arugula. And this will be a perfect appetizer or a nice dinner for two. This gorgeous meal was prepared in no time at all, and I believe it will satisfy any palate. We're going to drizzle it with just a bit of its own oil, and then we're going to serve it with these wedges of lemon right here, and as well a little bit of freshly chopped parsley. And here we are. I'm gonna get to be the first one to dig in and I'm gonna wish you un bon appetito.